Hi and welcome to the new video on industrial instrumentation and automation. So we are discussing about MEMS, Micro Electromechanical Systems. We will discuss the advantages and applications in the brief. Actuators and the sensors, micro level actuators and sensors discuss it. Then the fabrication techniques. So we will discuss an example, a particular example that is MEMS Accelerometer. There are many applications in the Vocês so accelerometer from the name itself we can see that it is used to measure acceleration and also for the uh, force producing it and many types of accelerometers are available in the market there are many accelerometers available in the market so they can be basically divided into uh, the um, can be divided according to the force that is to be measured the major categories of accelerometers include silicon capacitive piezo resistive and thermal accelerometer silicon capacitive piezo resistive and thermal accelerometers and in the case of this piezo electric effect a voltage generated corresponds to the accelerative forces which are acting on the microscopic crystal structure of this on the sensor okay that is piezo electric effect and it is voltage it is corresponding to the acceleration and even today, one of the most commonly used one is the piezoelectric accelerometer. If we have a lot of piezoelectric accelerometers, we have a lot of piezoelectric accelerometers. We don't have a lot of piezoelectric Because the, since they are bulky and cannot be used for all operations. We have a lot of operations and we have a lot And a smaller and highly functional device like MEMS accelerometers were developed. The capacity sensors are designed to operate by generating the electrostatic field and detecting the changes in the field course when the object or target approaching the sensing area. But that's capacity in the working principle. And in the case of thermal MEMS sensors, a large number of tiny thermocouples are connected in series. Thermo, thermal uh, MEMS are connected in series. Thermocouples are series are connected in series. Okay, but okay, just to the basic... Uh, now, MEMS accelerometers are widely incorporated in so many electronic portable devices such as media players, cam recorders, game devices. acceleration accelerometer mobile phones smartphones the sensors are used to transit between the landscape and portrait modes image stabilizing anti blur capturing pocket mode operation Vocês high sensitivity and high accuracy at high temperatures high sensitivity and accuracy at high temperatures and the device does not change values depending on the base materials used and depends only on the capacitive value that occurs due to the change in distance between the place but then the capacity effect on the acceleration where then such a end the capacitance values change of other proper right to calibrate the tunnel you can have a path and then the end uh, does not change on the uh, values depending on the base material used. We have material dependent on And if two plates are kept parallel to each other, 
and are separated by distance d and if epsilon is the permittivity of the separating material and the capacitance can be given by c equal to epsilon by d like or epsilon 0 epsilon a by d or epsilon a by d or epsilon a by d so a change in the values of epsilon a or d will help in finding the change in capacitance and thus help in uh, the working of MEMS transducer. We are going to say MEMS transducer capacity transducer. We are going to say that epsilon varies, a varies, d varies, a 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 Accelerometer values mainly depend on the change of values of D or A. Okay, D O A O. A thing lower than the variation the basically working like I'm going to discuss the D the variation display uh, that is distance between the plates. That is the variation the current number discussing. We done uru example I turn on Okay, so this is no current angle. You remember the accelerometer on a pivot and guru and base substrate on a male. We a spring material. We have a spring material. We have a micro level. We have a spring material. We have a representation. We have a spring material. We have a spring material. We we have a proof mass and movable plate. This is the spring connected to the movable plate. This is the side of the fixed plate. Okay, fixed plate. Okay, this is the blue white and the outer fixed plate. This is the movable plate. Now, we have a movable plate. This is the movable plate. This is the movable plate. This is the fixed plate. Okay. So, this is the capacitance of the capacitance C1, C2. Normal position is the center of C1 and C2. Equal to D1, D2 distance. Now, this is the movement. Acceleration is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the uh, oro settigalum equal and the combined chidru taken apparently the jigain. If a male at the plate gala elam kudi, kodna connecti the term V O nor Nurkana, other pala tartha plate gala elam kodna term minus V O Nurkana, other pala base in the V X sum. P the canadilla basic at la carin, P diagram American Pinipo, Mudunata tartha portion under a separated working area or an amatran card chalamidi or idea get done in term. Okay. Base, spring, movable plate, fixed plate, portal, voltage. So, we expand the motion. We can 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 expand the motion. So, this is just the animation. This is the spring. This is the spring. This is the movable mask. This is the separate tight gun. This is the fixed plate. This is the acceleration. This is the C1, C2. Capacitance values. Okay. Current distance. Finally, we have to measurement. This is the levels. Spring proof mass and capacitor plates. Okay, but in the get level, what I can't say 20 micrometer on the parent of a train and our miniature level load conversion art diagram. Kurzweil that I'm going to slam it. You can't tell you. But in a part in the power number conda the Varnia is a simple one axis accelerometer. Okay, if more sets of capacitors are kept in 90 degrees to each other, you can design two or three axes. For 90 degree where I may change two axes or three axes or one degree item. Other it will be a basic symbol one axis accelerometer. I know. And a simple MEM stands to sir mainly consists of movable microstructure or a proof mass that is connected to mechanical suspension system and thus on the onto a reference frame. And the movable plates and fixed outer plates act as the capacitor plates. So, we will see the next one. When acceleration is applied, the proof mass moves accordingly. Okay. And this produces a capacitance and this produces a capacitance between the movable and the fixed outer plates. And when acceleration is applied, the distance between the two plates displaces as x1 and x2, and they turn out to be functions of the capacitance produced. Right. And all sensors have multiple capacitor sets, as uh, we can see from that diagram. 
and all the upper capacitors are wired parallel to produce an overall capacitance of Z1 and the lower ones are pa uh, parallel to produce C2. So, we have to the upper and C1 and lower and C2. And if Vx is the uh, output voltage of the proof mass and Vo is the output voltage produced between the plates, then we can get a relation. We can get a relation and Vx plus Vo into C1 or plus or minus. Vx plus Vo into C1 plus Vx minus Vo into C2 is equal to 0 or simply we can write Vx within Vx regarding Vo into C2 minus C1 divided by C2 plus C1 expression. But then uh, in the baseline, we will calibrate the baseline and calibrate the baseline. Okay. So, this is the baseline. Uh, and the proportion would be the C1, C2, and the other than the Kanchidana, our the Bakla connections, electronics, moving Archidana, buffer stage in the Pinuru demodulator stage in the finally out with another item. Kanakina, but the moon case, good acceleration, India positive acceleration, deceleration, other than a Kanchitla. Okay. So, we have a little bit of a plus VO and the plate. C2 corresponds to plus VO, C1 corresponds to minus VO. We have to input this. We have to demodulate the EVO. So, demodulate is multiplier. We have to multiply the proprietor out. We have to just know that acceleration is VY point. VY point. So, VY is equal V out to anybody on the acceleration zero and V out to zero than you Acceleration positive and average positive value to negative one again. negative value to a trend of the shikin look at the detail at what you can no milia just to ready keep on the matron. So when no acceleration is given, output voltage will be zero. And when acceleration is given, the value of the uh, Vx changes in proportion to value of Vo. And when and deceleration is given, the signal Vx and Va become negative. Pangani so, negative I will. And the demodulator basically produces an output equal to the sign of acceleration as it multiplies both the values of Vy and Vo to produce Vo, which has the correct acceleration sign and correct amplitude. Okay. And within the applications are M sensors are being used in latest mobile phones and gaming joysticks as step counters used. Uh, user interface control and also for switching between different modes like landscape, portrait, and go into Then using mobile cameras as tilt sensor so as to tag the orientation of photos taken. Then provide stability of images in camcorders and uh, also to rotate the image to and fro when you can when you turn the mobile on. Then 3D axonometers is used in smartphones so as to provide easier tap and change feature. But under uh, the triple five zero, okay, triple five zero introducing on mobile. Um, tap and change with uh, mp3 okay, change and bit in the, uh, technology then used to protect hard disk drives in laptops laptop le hard disk drive protecting the key number for uh, from getting damaged when the pc falls to the ground the device senses the free fall senses the free fall and automatically switches off the hard disk and then used in uh, car crash airbag sensors where it senses sudden negative acceleration and determines the correct time to open the airbag then used in real time applications like military mountain missile launching projectiles and so and so on okay